Hello, my name is Enver Brunetta, and today I'm going to present our paper just published in the Envo Journal called IF-1 is a code regulated switch of ATP synthase hydrolytic activity to support thermogenesis in brown fat. This, was conducted by, this study was conducted by Dr. Alexander Bartelt in Germany and Marcelo Mori in Brazil, as well as an uh, international team effort. In cold environments, our body needs to generate heat to stay warm. Brown adipose tissue, or brown fat, plays a key role in this process through non-shiver thermogenesis. Brown fat cells are packed with mitochondria, tiny powerhouse that help to generate heat. The chemiosmotic theory proposed by Dr. Peter Mitchell suggests a coupling mechanism between electron transport chain activity and proton movements from the mitochondrial matrix to intermembrane space to oxygen consumption and ATP synthesis. However, in brown adipocytes, mitochondria present UCP1, which is uncoupling protein 1, and when UCP1 is activated, it allows the proton movement from the intermembrane space into the mitochondrial matrix, lowering membrane potential, increasing oxygen consumption, and as a result, energy expenditure. When mitochondrial member potential is low, ATP synthase can work in the reverse mode, which means pumping protons from the mitochondrial matrix into the intermembrane space, and to do this using ATP and generating ADP plus inorganic phosphate. Uh, it has been shown in other type cells or conditions that a protein called IF1 which stands for inhibitor factor 1, can inhibit the hydrolytic activity of ATP synthase in the reverse mode. However, we don't know if the ATP synthase is regulated during cold environments or when UCP1 is activated. We found in this study that during in room temperature, brown adipocytes express high levels of IF1, and this high levels of IF1 block ATP synthase hydrolytic activity. However, in cold adapted mice, IF1 levels are downregulated, allowing greater ATP synthase hydrolytic activity when UCP1 activity is higher. We also found <clears throat> in adipocytes that when we overexpress IF1, these cells can no longer su sustain mitochondrial membrane potential once UCP1 is active. We also show that in, in vivo, when you overexpress IF1 in brown adipocytes in mice, and we stimulate adrenergic signaling in those animals, they have lower uh, heat production uh, when IF1 is overexpressed. Thank you so much, and you can read the full paper in the Embo Journal.